Hi, I'm Pete, and I'd like to welcome you to discover your own backyard in Hobson's Bay. One of the great things about living in Hobson's Bay is the outdoor lifestyle. The beaches, the cafes, the wetlands and the parks. All of which can be explored by bike on the Hobson's Bay Coastal Trail. So let's get moving and meet some of the locals who can tell you about their favourite spots along the trail. Hi, my name's Jeremy. I'm the director at the substation here in Newport. This is a, one of Melbourne's newest, most exciting contemporary arts venues. So, you know, we do everything from performance, dance, theatre, cabaret, to visual arts programming. Really, we're trying to build this up into something that's really iconic for the west of Melbourne, and it's just fantastic that it's located right here in Newport. I think the really exciting thing about the substation is that we offer a whole lot of different things. So whether you're into the visual arts or into the performing arts, you get that really interesting crossover of art forms and, and audience interactions. And then there's some really nice incidental art moments here. So you might see a jazz performance or a circus class for kids, or we have a monthly artist market, and that draws a whole lot of people, not only from the local area, but from across Melbourne here to Newport. Hi, my name's Jackie and I've been living here on and off for 30 years now. Well, people don't realise this is where Melbourne's history actually started. So people coming over here can smell the sea air, you can walk around little narrow laneways, cobblestone streets and learn all about the history of Melbourne and surrounds. Some of the places I absolutely love are the Botanic Gardens, it's an absolutely beautiful area. The beach is gorgeous as well. I love Gem Pier, which I'm standing on now. And you can go to the mussel boat that brings in fresh mussels from the bay. You can go on the sea plains, um, fishing, ferry rides to Melbourne. We've also got the Jawbone Marine Sanctuary, which is a fantastic place to go snorkeling and bike riding as well. Point Jelly Brand's great for dog walks, cycling, very natural nature reserve. And the Strand is beautiful. You can look at the houses of the rich and famous and get a great view of Melbourne across the bay. Well behind me is the Timeball Tower and it dates back to the mid 1800s. All the ships used to be out in the bay behind me and basically they'd keep an eye on the tower. At five to one every day that giant ball would be raised, one o'clock it would drop and they could set the chronometers accordingly. There are a lot of hidden gems around here. I've lived all over the place but I keep getting drawn back. Hi, I'm George and I came to Altona 50 years ago with my family. The beach and the pier are a favourite destination for a lot of people because they like to come to swim or just walk around or sit about and uh, it's a great place. My favourite spot is the boat harbour because I like to watch the boats come in and out. On Pier Street, there's Logan Reserve and it has the historical homestead and it also has the Lewis Joel Community Centre on the other side with its art gallery. What connects a lot of the interesting places is the Hobson's Bay Coastal Trail bike path. You can come here, walk or ride, sit on the wall, you can look at Melbourne to the east or just sit here and watch the sunset in the west. My name's Laura and I've been working in Hobson's Bay for approximately two years in the parks and gardens area across the municipality. Truganina Park's located at approximately 15 kilometres from Melbourne. It's on Port Phillip Bay and the area is really important because from the top of the mound you can see Cheatham Wetlands and the wetlands of Truganina Park, the Explosive Reserve and out into the bay. The Laverdon Creek Bridge is significant because it links Altona and the Truganina Explosive Reserve to Altona Meadows and Truganina Park. 
Traganina Park is important for the ecosystem of Hobson's Bay because the habitat here supports a lot of different flora and fauna species. It also is a link to the rest of the coastal area of Hobson's Bay and Cheatham wetlands as well. Traganina Parks, it's a recreational area. You can go for a picnic, you can walk, you can ride. There's barbecue facilities here and you can just watch the bird life. It's a great place to come. <laughs>